Hey, Malin. How quickly do you think you could put your Volstauba on? Ooh, well, less than a minute. You want to race? Sure. Okay. Ready, set, go. My name is Marlin, and I'm Lelena, and we are Bimble and Plume, and we are historical reenactors with a love for German Renaissance clothing. And this channel is our way of sharing the things that we have learned over the years to help you level up your clothing game. A lot of times when I interact with other people at events, whatever you're wearing on your head is amazing. One of the things they always say, but how do you do that? So today we'd like to welcome you to our brand new Sew Along series. It's for our quick and easy Wulstalba. So a little disclaimer, we actually designed this so that you could put this together quickly and easily by machine and still have an exactly perfectly period silhouette and look like you stepped out of a portrait. And as a bonus, you can also wash it in a machine. So we're doing this Sew Along in a series of three videos. And if you visit our Etsy shop, you can find our pattern there, both available as digital and paper pattern. Welcome. So, what exactly is the Volstauba? Well, it is an understructure that was worn on the head, and it consists of a roll and a cap. And it was worn during the 16th century by uh, women in the Germanic-speaking regions of Europe. And they would wear it under a veil, and this created a large bulge at the back of the head that added height and interest. It is quite the look. And I remember when I first started getting into this, before we knew what it was called, people called it the German mushroom hat or the German hat that makes you look like you have an alien head. These headdresses show up often in artwork. The arrangement of the undercap and the veil showed tons of variations. The veil or the schleier uh, could be plain or decorated and it varied in shape and size. Some configurations of the undercap and veil had specific names associated with them. A Bundlein, for example, consisted of a Wulstaub paired with a long rectangular veil uh, where the tail wraps around the wearer's chin or mouth. Whereas a Stuchlein used a smaller shaped veil that was arranged in neat folds at the back of the wearer's head. But despite what the name was, it's clear that these types of headdresses consisting of the Wulstaub and veil are a very common sight. Pictorial evidence suggests that all classes throughout the Germanic regions donned this style of headdress. You could see it in the Duchess Consort of Bavaria, to the simple housewife, and even down to the lowly camp fo follower. They show up towards the late 1490s and continue on to the 1530s where they fall out of fashion. And the earliest depictions show a large bulge, which gets smaller and further back on the head over time until it disappears completely. Unfortunately, at this point, most of the depictions we have show the entire configuration with the veil covering the understructure. And there is no extant Wulstaub that we know of, so the actual means of construction is a mystery. A quick internet search will reveal the myriad of methods and conjectures surrounding the question of how it was constructed. And as you can see here, I have four different methods of construction that I have tried over the years. What we can say with confidence is that it is plausible that it consists of two pieces, a cap or a haube, and a roll or a wulst, hence wulsthaube. But how each one of these were patterned or constructed is anyone's guess. For this sew along, we wanted something for beginners. So we wanted something that was fast to make and that was easy to put on. So in the next video, we are going to show you how you can make it in an afternoon using a machine and easily obtained materials. The pattern that we are using for this sew along is one that we offer in our Etsy shop as a PDF, but you of course are welcome to use your own. And in our third video, we're going to show you how we wear our wool's help and we're going to demonstrate a few different ways you can wrap 
the veil or schleier around your wolf's help to complete your headdress and look like you stepped out of a portrait. Thank you for joining our sew along and happy sewing. <laughs>